Okay, let's try the functions question, function questions. The first one is a parabola that, that's given right here, and a line, y equals minus x plus 1, g of x, the function g, the function f. The first thing is write down the domain of g. Well, that's all the things that x can be. Well, this is a line that's going downhill because it's got a minus x here. It's going downhill. If this was the x-axis here, this y, this line goes forever, all the way down, all the way up. What are all the things that x can be? Well, there's an x value there. You can go, x could be any value. And the way you say that is you say x, you could say x is any real number. But this is a short way of saying x is an element of, and you use this symbol, r for the real numbers. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's try the next questions. Determine the f determine the f-intercepts of f, they want you to find the x-intercepts. That's what they're saying. Determine the x-intercepts of f. That's the next question. Well, let's try that. What's an x-intercept? Well, we take f here. This is y equals. We make y equals 0 to get an x-intercept. So there's your first step. 3x squared plus 9x minus 12. Divide everything by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Minus 12 divided by 3 is minus 4. Now it's time to put two brackets. x times x is x squared. We're factoring it. And 4 times 1 is 4, but it's got to be plus 4x and minus 1x to give me the plus 3x here. So the two x-intercepts are minus 4 and 0 and 1 and 0. Minus 4 and 1 are the two x-intercepts of the parabola of the function f. Let's just try one more question here. Determine the coordinates of the turning point. Well, it turns out there's a couple of ways of doing this, but one way to do it is just to go x equals minus b over 2a, and you'll get the axis of symmetry, the x-coordinate of the turning point. So let's do that. We go minus 9 over 2 times 3, 9 divided by 6 is 3 over 2. That's the x-coordinate of the turning point, minus 3 halves. And just take minus 3 halves and put it back into the formula in your calculator. 3 times minus 3 halves squared plus 9 times minus 3 halves. Press equals on your calculator, and you get minus 129 over 4, or minus 32 and a quarter. Well, that's it. Gee, it's an ugly looking number, but minus 3 halves and minus 32 and a quarter is your answer. You know, there's an easier way to find the axis of symmetry. Back here, you know, we saw that the um, x-intercepts are minus 4 and 1. If you know the x-intercepts, you can just add them and divide by 2, and you'll get the axis of symmetry, the x-coordinate of the turning point. See, minus 4 plus 1? is minus 3 over 2. It's even a little easier than the minus b over 2a formula. Okay, well there we go.